Created with food delivery services in mind, this takeout menu template can be printed as a one sheet or multi-page flyer for mailing out or sharing online. Creating a stylish menu for a cafe, restaurant or delivery service is quick and simple using Affinity Publisher. Hi, I'm Grace and in this video tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this menu template that can be adapted with your own choice of photos and colours. As well as access to Affinity Publisher, you'll also need to download a couple of fonts to use on your cover design and you can find the links for these in the details below the video. You're also going to need to have some overhead photos of the dishes that you'd like to include in your menu and some example photos I've included in the text below as well. So take a look at that for some image inspiration. Okay, ready? Let's get started. So first up, open Affinity Publisher and go to File and New. Choose Print from the options along the top of the window. Set the page width to 5.8 inches and the page height to 8.3 inches with a DPI of 300. Increase the number of pages to two and make sure facing pages is deselected. Include a margin width of 0.25 inches and a bleed of 0.125 inches before going ahead and clicking create. Okay, so first up, let's go to the swatches panel and choose add global color from the panels drop down menu. Name the swatch line and set the mode to CMYK sliders. Set the levels to cyan 36, magenta 0, yellow 98 and key 0. And then click add. Okay, so repeat to create a second swatch. This one's going to be called off-white and the levels are going to be cyan 8, magenta 6, yellow 4 and key 0. Working on page 1 of your document, go to the layers panel and click on the add layer icon at the bottom right of the panel and rename this layer background. And then create five more layers, type behind, photo behind, color, type in front, and finally at the top of the pile, photo in front. Then lock all the layers except the bottom layer background, which we're gonna work on first. So working on page one, which is going to be the front side of your menu, and also on the background layer, select the rectangle tool from the tools panel at the left side of the workspace and drag across the whole page right up to the bleed edge. Now switch to the fill tool and click and drag across the rectangle to apply a gradient fill. So you can click to select one of the circular color handles and from the color panel, you can adjust the color of the handle to a CMYK swatch. So for the left hand handle, click it to select it and then change the color of this to cyan zero, magenta 87, yellow 50, and key zero, which is gonna give you a nice hot pink color. Then for the right hand handle, click on that and set the color of this to cyan zero, magenta 73, yellow 90, and key zero for a vivid orange color. Okay, so then you can right click on the rectangle shape and choose add to swatches and from fill, and this is going to save the gradient as a color swatch in the swatches panel. Okay, so lock the background layer and unlock the type behind layer above it. Use the frame text tool to create a large text frame across the left side of the page, just below the halfway point. Type in the title of your menu and from the character panel, set the font to Pioggia, around a 67 point font size and a lime font color. Lock the type behind layer and unlock the photo behind layer above. And then switch to the picture frame ellipse tool and while holding shift on your keyboard, drag to create a perfect circle across the page. And you can allow this to sit a little off center and slightly overlapping the menu title as shown here. Then go to file and place. Navigate to the first image that you want to use and open it. Double click inside the picture frame to select the image directly. And from here, you can scale it so that the plate fits snugly into the circular frame. Then with the picture frame selected, go to the effects panel, which is at view, studio, 
effects and check the outer shadow box. Increase the opacity to around 22%, the radius to around 43 pixels and the offset to around 1313 pixels with an angle of around 225 degrees. So working on the type behind layer, use the picture frame ellipse tool as before to draw a circle just slightly larger than the original, centering this over the plate picture. Then select the artistic text tool and click anywhere on the edge of the ellipse to transform it into a text path. Type in the order number of the dish, the name of the dish and also a price and set the font to Carol. Highlight some items of text in line, setting the rest in off-white. You can drag the triangle icons around the edge of the circle to switch the position and orientation of the text. And you want to aim for it generally to sit on the top left side because we're gonna put some more things over on the right hand side of the page. So next up, working on the color layer, use the rectangle tool to create a shape over the far right side of the page extending the edge up to the top, bottom and right bleed and set the fill of this to the gradient swatch. Add a subtle outer shadow to the rectangle with a 180 degree angle from the effects panel. Working on the photo and front layer, then use the picture frame ellipse tool as before to create a circular frame over the top of the new rectangle shape. Go to file and place and drop another overhead photo into the frame and scale the image to fit the dish snugly in the frame as we did before. And also as before, add a drop shadow to the picture frame from the effects panel to just add a little bit more realism to the frame. Copy and paste the circular picture frame repeatedly to create a vertical sequence of plates down the length of the rectangle shape. And you can swap in different images now or wait until later on, whichever you prefer. As we did before, but this time working on the type in front layer, use the picture frame ellipse tool to draw a circle shape around the edge of the top plate image, making the circle just that bit slightly larger than the image and use the artistic text tool to add a description and price to the circle, setting the font in slightly smaller size carol. Then copy and paste the circle with the text path, placing each copy around one of the plate images. You can add a heading such as main dishes or mains on the type in front layer at the top of the sequence of dishes. And for this, set the font to Pioggia, size 23 points, center align, and align font color. Add a text frame below the menu title with further details about how the menu is available, setting Carol, all caps, and an off white font color. And you can also add a phone number and web address below this, also set in Carol. Highlight key contact details in larger font and a lime color. At the top left of the page, you can file place a PNG version of the restaurant's logo or create a logo using the fonts available to you, such as Pioggia. 
Now you can use the reverse side of your menu to feature a much wider number of dishes. And this is going to be page two of your layout in Affinity Publisher. So to keep this quicker, we'll use some of the elements that we've created on page one to populate the second page. So first, unlock the background layer and select and copy the gradient rectangle on this layer. Scroll down to page two and edit paste the shape onto the page. Select the narrower rectangle on page one sitting on the color layer and edit paste this onto page two as well. Position it at the far left side and expand the width to just over half of the page. You can also adjust the angle of the outer shadow to zero degrees to flip the direction of the shadow. Copy and paste the mains header from page one onto page two, moving it to the top of the rectangle on the left side. Paste again, moving this header over to the top of the right hand column, adjusting the text to read sides and adjusting the font color to off white. Further headers can be added, such as desserts and drinks by pasting and editing the text. On page one, select one of the plate images and the surrounding text path. And for this, you'll need to unlock both layers to do so and edit copy them. Paste them onto page two, positioning them at the top left corner of the page under the header. And you might need to scale the size of both elements down slightly in order to fit two columns of plate images on the left hand section. But if you have fewer dishes, you can keep the sizing the same. Copy and paste the resized dish and its text path repeatedly to create two columns of dishes. And if you want to, you can file place new images into each picture frame and adjust the text content accordingly. So once you've arranged your layout and also added more dishes to the right hand section of page two, you can add written menu items for things like drinks and extras towards the bottom of the right hand section. Set these in Carol, all caps, and vary the font color between lime and off-white. Don't forget to add contact details to the bottom of this reverse page as well. So if you want to add more pages to your menu template, if you've got more menu items to include and you want to create a multi-page brochure, you can right click on page two in the pages panel and choose duplicate. This is going to create a third page based on the design of page two. And from here, you can swap in dish images and the header text accordingly. So once you finish working on your menu template, go to File and Export. Choose PDF from the options along the top and choose PDF Press Ready from the preset menu. Make sure the raster DPI is set to 300 and that Include Bleed is checked as well before clicking Export. Here you can name and save your file and you're done. This PDF is ready to send to print as a mailable flyer, great job. Your hard work has paid off and now you can sit back and admire your menu design. Or why not try experimenting with different colors, fonts and photos to achieve a different look. Over the course of this tutorial, we've created the bones of a customizable menu template. It's super simple to adapt your menu, creating a fresh design. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out the other tutorials we have available over on Envato Tux Plus and pick up top tips for creating designs using Affinity Publishing.